Let's cut to the chase. I made some panels for the rules section of a private Discord server, and I thought, why not share them with you? So in this video, I'm gonna show you what they look like in the server, and then I'm gonna show you how to get them, how to customize them, make them your own, tweak them to really match your server without using any fancy software like Photoshop or whatever. Everything within a browser. Let's do it. So this is the server in question and the panels that I'm going to share are the little image panels that you see here. And um, that little icon on the left is actually the profile picture of the whole server. So uh, if you don't want to have that, that's completely fine. Yours is going to be different. And you can see at the bottom here, I did a little something with the, the color of the roles. I'm not going to go into like the whole Discord part. I'm just going to show you how to get the panels. So if you think that looks good and you want something similar, this video is for you. If you think, ew, I don't like that. It's not for you, but still like and subscribe because I might make something in the future that you like. First things first, you want to go to photop.com and from there, you're going to see a button that says templates. Click on that. And here I just added it like a minute ago, so it's going to show up right there, but it probably won't for you. So what you want to do is click on that search bar and then type my name, get a level and then scroll until you find it. Again, it's top left here because I just posted it. It's going to bring you here. You have to click on it again. And this is what you will be greeted with. As you can see, the image is different here. We have a blurry background where you can put whatever icon you want for whatever panel you want. And on the right side, we will have what I call the layers list. This basically shows you every component of the project. So click on the eyes to turn them on and off. It's very intuitive. Now, what you're seeing here, those are groups and inside of groups, you're going to find multiple things. For example, in our main text, that's the colorful text. What you can see is a layer called text glow. If I turn that off, you'll see that the text glow disappears and I'll see a layer with a T and that's the main text. If I want to modify this, all I have to do is double click on that T. Okay. And then from there, I can type whatever I want. Now there's a couple others. You can turn this one off and turn those on. Uh, this one says the rules, the roles, so if you want to use those, they're ready to go. Basically, the first thing you would probably want to change is putting this small text that says welcome to and then the main text says server name. So welcome to my server. You would double click on the T for sure. And as I said before, you can type whatever you want. Lowercase, probably not. There you go. Now, here's the thing, for example, if you have a long name for your server like this, you're going to run into this issue which is completely fine. All you have to do is find the crop tool on the left. This is where your toolbar is and um, click on it. It is right there. OK, and now I can create more space. Press enter and there you have it. Now let's talk about this icon area. How would you add another icon here? Well, first thing you want to do is locate the actual icon that I already have that crown. If you don't want it, you can just turn it off. And let's say I want one for my rules. I just type rules icon in Google Images and I found this one with a transparent background. I can right click copy image right there and press Control V. As you can see, it did add the icon. It's right there. So in order to move it, I want to make sure I have the move tool selected. That's the one. Now I can click and drag this where I want it. Now let's make it slightly larger. I'll go to edit free transform and now we'll see a bounding box around it and we can just make that bigger and make sure we place it correctly. When we're done, we're going to press enter. If you like the way the icon looks, then you're good to go. If not, and you want to invert the color, you can press control I for invert. That is entirely up to you. And um, you're pretty much done. All you have to do now is export it as a PNG. For that, you want to go to File, Export as PNG. From there, you can resize it. You can also rename it. Make sure your quality is at 100% and click Save. It'll ask you where you want to save it and it will download it. And there it is. Now, if you were to just add it to Discord like that, this is what it would look like. And that's completely valid. What you would want to do is have your text ready so that you can post all of the rules and all of the panels back to back. So it will look like one single paragraph or do like I did and actually put them in embeds. 
If you don't know how to do embeds, uh, well, subscribe. I'll probably make a video on how to do that. Or just Google it in the meantime. And there you go. Very simple. If there's any other subjects you would like for me to cover about Discord, uh, let me know in the comment section below. And once again, don't forget to subscribe.